Hello there and welcome to the June 2019 core paper 2. Here we're on the first question. So part A is proved that tanh h inverse is in equal to a half ln 1 plus x over 1 minus x. So the first thing we have to recall is um, the definition of tanh or tanh x. So we're going to set y equal to, um, so we're going to find an inverse function, aren't we? So if we set um, y equal to tanh x, what we're going to try and find here is an inverse function um, for y rather than just tan h inverse. Um, so what we'll do then is we'll recall our definition for tan x and that is going to be e to the 2x minus 1 over e to the 2x plus 1. You can recall this by doing shine over cosh and then just uh, recalling your definitions of shine and cosh and then simplifying, but this is what it is here. Let's now multiply that e to the 2x plus 1 onto the other side. And then expand the brackets. So e to the 2xy plus y equals e to the 2x minus 1. What I think I'll do now is I'll group all my x's on one side. So I'll make it y plus 1 on the left and e to the 2x um, minus e to the 2xy on this side. Let's now factorise out the e to the 2x on the right hand side. e to the 2x, um, bracket 1 minus y, is going to be uh, y plus 1, and we'll divide by this 1 minus y on the other side. So 1 minus y equals e to the 2x. We'll now get rid of the e, so we'll learn both sides. So 1 plus y over 1 minus y equals 2x, and then we divide by 2, so it's a half ln 1 plus y over 1 minus y equals x. So there we are, that's the inverse function for tanh, so therefore we can say that tanh h, tanh inverse is equal to half ln uh, 1 plus x, 1 minus x. And the value on the range of x is going to be, k is going to be 1 from minus 1 to 1, because that is the range of values for which this uh, bracket here will be positive for. Otherwise, uh, if it's outside of this range of values, then it's going to be negative. So k equals 1. Okay, so there we are. That's the answer for part A. So it's just a rearranging question, a classic kind of inverse question where you have to rearrange your function to get y, to get x in terms of y, and then you just write your final answer with x's in rather than y's. Moving on to part B then, hence or otherwise solve the equation of 2x equals tanh um, ln uh, of the square root of 2 minus 3x. So if we um, inverse the tan onto the other side, so tanh 2x, tanh inverse 2x equals ln root uh, 2 minus 3x. And then apply that definition from above, so that's going to be a half ln, um, and it's going to be 2x instead of x, so it's going to be 1 plus 2x over 1 minus 2x equals ln root 2 minus 3x. Now I'm going to double both sides now to get um, to move the 2 onto the other side. 2x over 1 minus 2x equals 2 ln root 2 minus 3x. And the effect that will have is it will now be able to be moved inside the logarithm as a power. So it will now be squared, which will cancel out this square root here. So then when we also simultaneously get rid of the luns, we're going to get 1 plus 2x over 1 minus 2x equals 2 minus 3x. So we've incorporated the 2 inside the logarithm. That will cancel out the square root. And then we get rid of the luns on both sides. Let's now expand the... So let's multiply the denominator of the left onto the right. So 2 minus 3x times 1 minus 2x. Expand your brackets on the left, on the right-hand side. So it's going to be 2 minus 3x minus 4x, that would be minus 7x, and then plus 6x squared. Move everything onto the right-hand side now. It's going to be 6x squared minus 9x, uh, and then minus, so plus 1, 
So that's going to make it, um, let's just type this into the calculator, I reckon. So 6x squared minus 9x and then plus 1. And that will give us, ooh, not a very nice answer here. It will give us x equals 9 plus root 57 over 2. Uh, let's just make sure that follows the set of rules from above. That's one point, um, that's 1.379. So is this allowed? Because x is only allowed to be in between 1 to minus 1. Um, I don't think that's going to be allowed, but the next one might be allowed. The next one is 9 minus root 57 over 2. Um, so I would say that this one here is not a solution because um, because x must be defined between minus 1 to 1, so it's just this solution here. Okay, so there we are. That's the answer for question 1 there, worth 10 marks in total. Let's now move on to question 2.